and how to get fashionable furniture at the best price on WCCO 4 News at 10. Hello, I'm Dennis Dota. And I'm Amelia Santanello. Don has the evening off. Buying furniture for our homes. Boy, can that be overwhelming. Yeah, you're not kidding. So many selections, styles, and stores. Well, tonight, Terry Gricka shares trade secrets from a Consumer's Digest furniture shopping expert. Furniture is the fabric of our homes. It sets the mood, the tone, the feel. The key is shopping online, doing some comparison shopping. Jennifer Litwin has spent most of her life yes, researching um, ways to land the best deals on furniture. Part of that process is knowing what's going to last. This is a couch that has upholstery all the way down. The material has gone all the way down to the base. Jennifer says a piece like this is less likely to tear. Underneath the cushion, you want to make sure that there are no exposed staples, which there aren't in this piece. And you also want to make sure that the, that the fabric has been applied with hot glue to the frame. Staples can weaken the fabric and eventually the frame. Uh, when it comes to wood drawer. pieces, Jennifer says the it pays to pull out the drawers. And most people never actually see the dovetailing on the back. They don't take out the drawers. But that gives, these cutout pieces give a lot of added stability to the piece so it won't shake and fall apart over time. Drawer stoppers are a must if you have kids. But there's another safety feature that often goes unnoticed. The key is having equal weight. This is, if you look at this piece, feel it, yeah. it's got a lot of support. Mm -hmm. It's not going to tip over. You don't worry that it's going to fall over. More than 10,000 children are injured or killed each year by furniture toppling over. Another thing you want to look for is you want to look for wooden glides. Most stores today are selling furniture with metal glides. And the metal glides tend to warp over time. They get beat up, and then it's hard to open and close. Then don't forget to look online. A lot of retailers will offer up to 30% off online that they don't offer in the store. Be careful about delivery costs. Some stores will charge up to 15% extra for assembly or delivery, but will waive those fees if you ask. Altogether, it also pays to think like a designer. Jennifer says that title alone often gets a person a 15% discount. But get this. 85% of the 500 stores that I interviewed said they'd give the same discount to a regular person as they would to a designer. And before you bring home any piece, ask for a written warranty. Without a written warranty from that store, not only just the manufacturer, but that store, you know that that store is going to stand behind the product. If you're going to live with the furniture you've picked, you want to be sure it's going to live up to you. And Jennifer also says some companies charge extra for things like Scotchgard, but she's found that household cleaners are often just as effective. Terry has put more of Jennifer's furniture shopping tips at her blog. You can also try out a website that lets you see how different rugs would look in your room. Just go to WCCO.com slash Terry blog. That's all one word.